Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to use the auto-tune that's built into GarageBand. And if you're a fan of hip-hop music, you know that's like the timbre that has uh, really kind of taken over in the last couple of years or so. And, and it's actually built into uh, GarageBand. So uh, let me show you how to do that. First off, I'm just going to, I'm just going to assume that you know how to record in GarageBand. And I've I got, got a beat here going on, uh, which I won't worry about so much right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a... In case you haven't done this before, you hit the plus button, and what happens is it asks you, okay, you want a software instrument, now I want a real instrument, and hit create. And now, basically, I got an ability to record audio, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go after this song, and uh, I'm just going to sing into it. I'm going to kind of get a pitch going, so I'm, da, da, okay, so here we go, da, so if I do something like this, da, da. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. If I, if I would just play it back. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. So what, I do, what, you, what you do on it is you, if you double click on the audio track or hit the scissors with the audio track selected you get this little area here and what you have I'll kind of zoom in as a touch so you can see that down there you have what's called enhanced tuning and what we want to do is pull that up to the max and we'll limit it to the key and let's see how it sounds now Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. So you can hear some of the auto tuning going on there. Fortunately, I actually can sing Mary had a little lamb in tune. So what you have to do if you want to use auto tune effectively, you actually have to sing out of tune. So Mary had, let's see if I can sing it out of tune there and see how we're, we're comparing contrast with that. So this time, and I'm going to turn on the click off this time so I won't get the click going. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, his fleece is white. Oh. Okay, I have ears. I know that sounds really out of tune. Let's see, let's do the auto tune again. You double click on it. Make sure the enhanced tuning is all the way up. Limit the key. And let's hear how it sounds now. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little so what you have to do is actually kind of play around a little bit with the auto-tune. So there's actually a skill to actually be able to use auto-tune to make it work effectively. Because if you actually sing in tune on pitch, it really doesn't have anywhere to go. Basically what it does, if you pick a key, and this is the key of C, it looks for the C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C notes in there. And if it's if it's not if it's in between an A and a B, okay. If it's 50% and higher, it goes up to the B. If it's 50% and lower, it goes down to an A. So that's basically how Auto Tune works. So since you know how Auto Tune works now and you know how to use the GarageBand, go out there and make some uh, great R&B, hip hop music, rock music, and so forth. And uh, you know, basically, I do love music. So yeah. I, love the music. I love the music. Music. Thank you, Auto Tune.